What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna have to talk a little bit quieter because the missus is sleeping but hopefully you guys will be able to uh, get all the information here. So basically we have got our first kind of we've got some new cards we've got a lot of new cards that are going to be coming to eFootball 2023 with the new update uh, that is going to be dropping in November so obviously we got the news if you've missed that video where I did a roundup of all the news check that out but we got the information over on Gold's official Twitter account so Goal at Goal put out this tweet to tonight um, around 7 p.m GMT and they said that this is Gold's ultimate tournament guide, all 32 countries covered, including fixtures, players to watch, predicted, 11s, and they said with eFootball, right? So it's obviously kind of a tie-in with eFootball that they're using the eFootball kind of like um, cards and stuff. So when we actually go over to the official uh, website and we check it out, we are going to be brought to this player guide here, which is the team guide and a player guide, players to watch. It's got all the 32 teams, as you can see here. Every group, the coaches predicted 11. So it's fairly nice. It looks pretty decent. But with the teams that are actually going to be licensed in eFootball 2023, we also have this. So we have everything the same, but we also have a deep dive on players and some new player cards. So obviously, you guys would have seen that they've already released certain national teams. Now, obviously, Italy aren't actually going to the World Cup. They missed out on the World Cup, but they did release a national team selection. It's called a Deluxe Italy Pack, and that was released a couple of days ago, and that's already up. So this is over on eFootballDB.com, the database site, and uh, this has already been released where you've got, like, all these players here um, with it. So you've already got a couple of these player packs released. You've got the Italian one there, and then they also had the Turkish one and Indonesian ones and stuff like that um but yeah so they are going to be adding more and more of them as you see here you've got three players then to watch from every team you've got bellingham foden and uh harry kane and then pretty much every squad um that is going to be licensed that will have the real kit and obviously will be licensed in eFootball 2023 are going to have the players to watch with a new card now there's a couple of interesting things to get into here so for example with argentina we have a Martinez card here, he's 94 overall, and then we also have this Legend Messi card. So this is like a really, really special version of Messi. You can see there that there's a date on it. So this card here has got no date, and it looks just like the, all, the already released ones that we got with the Italian cards, as you can see here. Um, but this one, the messy one, you can see it's got a gold kind of font, gold print on it. And also you've got a little icon down there in the bottom left hand corner of his celebration. It's kind of like a unique iconic moment or an iconic match specific to that date, the 26th of June, 2014. He's got a 99 overall rating. Um, and he's got a unique kind of dynamic card. And then obviously if you go back to, uh, Paredes, he's going to have just a normal card there as well. Now, also on top of that, we do know that eFootball signed a license agreement with France. So similarly, as Messi's, we also have a Benzema special card. Now, Benzema's card is slightly different. It is signed. It does have a signature, as you can see there. It is 97 overall center forward. He has the icon little card in the bottom left as well. But it is slightly different to Messi's that it's not a gold. It doesn't look to be like a legend card. And this is from the 10th of October, 2021. So yeah, pretty much every team that's licensed in the game is going to have their cards. You've got Benzema, Griezmann and Varane as the three here. Um, and then working your way down through it, you've got Spain's, uh, you've got Morata. Um, you've got Morata and you have got Pedri. And we also have Rodri, who's a 97 overall. Pedri's a 95 overall. That's a sick rating. Uh, we've also got Belgium here as well. So I'm going to give you a look at all the cards. Kevin De Bruyne, 97. We've got Hazard, 94. And we've got Lukaku, 94. So I think that what they're going to do is they're probably going to have a load of these cards coming with launch. Now, we do have ones for Neymar and uh, uh, Casemiro and Vinicius Jr., but the cards aren't up on this either um, yet but we do have for Portugal. So similarly with Messi's, we also have Cristiano Ronaldo's here, which we'll have a look at in a second. So we have Bruno's there, as you can see, 
and then Ronaldo's is a 95. Ronaldo's doesn't seem to be a legend or an iconic match or a featured match of version. It just seems to be like the same as the rest of the cards. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually add, you know, future cards to that. Will Neymar get a special one? I would imagine he would um, because he is obviously an ambassador. I would say that the ambassadors are going to be getting a special card edition. Um, that would just be my, my predictions. We've also got Ecuador here. They don't have any cards um we have got iran they don't have any cards we've got saudi arabia they don't have any cards australia as you can see when you go down to the bottom they just have the players to watch so it seems to be just specific teams obviously the licensed teams canada as well obviously their first world cup there and then we have to go all the way down <coughs> we've got serbia we have got ghana so we're going to go through them all just to make 100 percent sure we've got senegal we've got the usa and again, none of these have cards, right? None of these have cards at all. Mexico, they don't have them either. We've also got Denmark, who are here. They don't have any cards either. We have Germany. They have cards, as you can see here. We've got a deep dive on Gundogan. We've got Kimmich, who's 97 overall. I have to get my hands on him if he comes out. And we've also got Rudiger, who I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in as well. And again, they all have some nice dynamic looking cards. We don't have any for Morocco well there's no cards up yet maybe they will add i reckon that they probably will add a lot of these um they have none for uruguay either they have some for uh the netherlands uh they've got frankie de young as you see here they've got memphis de pie and they have van dyke who should be you know an absolute monster whales are in as well as you can see there's no cards up yet but as I said, lads, I think maybe they will add cards for a lot of these because if we already saw with Italy, Italy aren't even qualified for the World Cup and they do have special edition cards. Now, the Japanese cards also are up. You've got Yoshida, Endo and Ito. So again, you've got some nice players. This is an iconic one. So from the 1st of Feb, these two are regular ones. And then last but not least, we've got a couple of these teams here, Croatia and Cameroon. They don't have any cards up yet and South Korea rounding it off. So as I said, lads, the cards might still come for the teams that aren't up. You know, we have them up here for Argentina. You have the Messi card and we have them up here for Portugal. You've got like Bruno and uh, Cristiano and uh, Silva. But like, for instance, we know we're going to get cards for Brazil, but they're not up yet. You know what I mean? So I would reckon that we could get cards for all of these countries. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, because I definitely think, you know, they are going to tie in this to probably the World Cup hype. Um, let me know if you think these cards are cool. Obviously, the one with Messi is a very interesting one because that's a 99 rated card. I think that's the highest base card that will have been released to date um, from June 26, 2020 or 2014. So yeah, lads, let me know what you think of that. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at these in case you had missed it. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you later check out the rest of the videos i have on the channel and a shout out to hot smiler as well ed hot smiler who was the one that actually gave us um he, he tweeted at this so yeah so that is it lads let me know what you think of these cards let me know if you'd be interested in these cards and uh yeah i will talk to you in a bit